we can go on because this is not a new question. I mean, we can go on literally for the next 20 years talking about why this, why that. And I guarantee you, you will not come to any answers because any of these questions are being answered the mind will come and ask five more questions of why this and why that and da, 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 da. it keeps going on and on and on there's it's a never ending question yet it's very valid for the spiritual seeker because i had to go through that asking these questions to get to where I'm at today. But at the very end of it, I, I began to realize, and I can only speak to you from my personal realization. That's all I can offer to you. I can't offer anybody else's because it's not my own experience. I can only share with you what I've experienced is that I realized whether you want to accept it or not, because I'm not even trying to convince you. I'm just sharing with you of what I've realized. You have to recognize it for yourself. It doesn't matter what I tell you. This has to be your own realization. So you have to investigate it. It's what I realized that this entire existence, that I'm experiencing from my very limited space, limited abilities with all my limitations because I have millions of different limitations. So as everyone else. And I can only grab so little of the infinite. Very, very little of it I can understand, I can grab, because it's so vast. It keeps going on and on. It's infinite. And I can't understand infinity. It's beyond my understanding. Infinity. Because my experience is not infinity. My experience is limitation. My experience in this life is a beginning and an end. So infinity is definitely out of my experience, you know, I can't get it. What do you mean infinity? What do you mean it keeps going, going, going forever? What do you mean it's always been here? Because it's never been my experience. My experience has always been a beginning and an end with everything. My body had a beginning, and it's certainly going to have an end. And every experience I have in life, it has a beginning and the end. You know, every time I fell in love with a girl, it was, had a beginning and it ended. And then every relationship I had, had a beginning and ended. And my sister was here, and then she died. And my, my father was here, and then he died. And my best friend was here, and then he died. And then I had another career before I started doing this. I was in the insurance industry, and it had a beginning, and then it ended. Everything has a beginning and an end. So all of my experiences in this life, in this human form, have always been subject to a beginning and an end. So what do you mean infinite? What do you mean it's always been here and it goes forever? Of course I can't understand it because I'm limited. But just because I'm limited and I can't understand something, does it mean it doesn't exist? Maybe I'm trying to understand something in a wrong way. Is it possible that there is another way of getting it? Could I get out of my limited place? Is it possible? Possibility, you know, we're just 
talking about things. We don't have to agree on it or disagree. Is it possible that there is something beyond my grasp? Yes, no, possible, yeah. Uh, maybe I can, maybe, how about this? What if existence is perfect? There is nothing wrong with it, okay? Maybe I'm looking at the whole thing from this view. Maybe I change my view. Maybe there is nothing wrong with life and is exactly the way it needs to be. And if I can simply get out of my mind, my ideas, my thoughts, I'm not thinking, and I'm here, but there is no thoughts. 